It's, um, yeah, great question. How does it compare to other aircraft components? It's kind of like a... Uh, light cooler, man. Light oh, cooler. It, it has a fiber feel to it. You know, of course, the velocity that way has nice light handling qualities, with nice handling airplane, but when you put that much uh, excess thrust on it, it becomes kind of like a fiber. You know, not the G-levels and so forth, but next, next generation will certainly get there. Uh, bottle canopy as well. Uh, you know, we're not doing an airplane that we would regularly want to race yet. We're working with a prototype, and we're learning from it all of the things that we want to do for all of the airplanes that we will race, so we know this is a regular thing. Um, and certainly, you know, I don't know how it'll play out. This, this depiction over here shows two engine aircraft. Um, I don't know if we're we saying we're two engine, how the smart way to do that is downstream. But I can virtually guarantee a bubble canopy is a bus for uh, the generation coming up. Jeff Grayson, the uh, XR engine. Uh, <laughs> XR is the engineer who uh, built the uh, engine and did integration and testing and has done a phenomenal job of creating this great performance team today. Jeff, uh, maybe you can ask a question about what's it like compared to uh, other engines you built or what do you think it's going to be in the future? Well, it's, uh, by design, this is not the biggest engine ever built in uh, a lot of the engines program. Really, the big new piece for this for us, uh, the big new piece for us for this, is this is the first time we've done a pump fed engine in the uh, We've been working on the pump technology for about six years. It's really a whole generational leap forward the fresh fed technology in the year 2002. And uh, really, the most exciting thing for us as technologists on this program was the chance to take that technology and put it in the flight test bed and really tune into the future of what's ever done. And I'll tell you, it's a great feeling after many, many, many months of development program. I've gotten to the point now where when it falls out the engine light, I expect it to light. You know, it's not, not a surprise anymore. It's all it's that it that it lights. So uh, that's a great feeling. It's, it's really great to be back here in Oscar. I've seen the airplane go through the races, and uh, I just uh, hoping that one of these cities will get a better opportunity. We're going to finish off the flight part. Now, these are the fingers crossed on the bottom. We got it. A few more things up our sleeve that are all prepared and planned and we're ready to execute, but uh, it's going to take the weather. So. Anybody have any questions from Jeff Rachel, next to Aero, please, about the engines? And uh, seems to be a big question for a lot of fans out there. How much fuel? we got about 1,400 pounds of pounds on board, and roughly 1,000 pounds of oxygen and 400 pounds of fuel. The uh, oxygen is in the uh, tank, and it's for the back seat, used to be. And the fuel is further away from the flight anywhere from that. Okay. We have real problems meeting the 30 minute delivery room. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're waiting on that. The FAA's, you know, we're in our own look at it. Actually, they, they're calling us a, a, a self launch sale. You know, it's, that's the closest thing they could figure. But it is, it's a very unique vehicle. I've got an L08 operating in this. You know, we've had actually great support from. Everyone in this uh, FAA who uh, bent over backwards to really work with to, to understand that uh, yeah, EAA has been phenomenal. Sean, Sean Tucker's been my team interface. What a, what a privilege for me is, uh, you know, I'm not by training background in an airshow pilot, a test pilot, military pilot, and astronaut, uh, but I've done by watching the day. Well, I did it the way a test pilot would approach it, but I really wanted to make sure that it was vetted by the, the world of press. And, John came down to to, uh, to uh, Mojave and watched this to, from the start of the operation to the finish after our briefings and everything. And uh, we really appreciate that mentoring and that, that help and that verification that we were on track to do it right in a way that was not only impressive but safe and uh, secure right in the business. I'm going to tell a quick funny story here about just how great the support of the VA has been. Uh, they had to move November 1 out of our way in order to get us actually back to the airplane and then you got to the runway. And it's not often that you get a chance to tell the FAA administrators to move out of the way. But, uh, you know, you can't get much better support than that. Any other questions? Uh, one question, 